I remember walking across this yard on what seemed to be a random day, my head down, lost in my own world of issues, like many of you do daily. I'm almost at the center of the yard. I raised my head and Muhammad Ali was walking towards me. Time seemed to slow down as his eyes locked on mine and opened wide. He's raised his fist into a quintessential guard. I was game to play along with him, to act as if I was a worthy opponent. What an honor to be challenged by the GOAT, the greatest of all time, for a brief moment. His face was as serious as if I were Frazier in the Thriller in Manila. His movements, his movements or flashes of a, of a past greater than I can imagine. His security let the joke play along for a second before they ushered him away. And I walked away floating like a butterfly. I walked away amused at him, amused at myself, amused at life for this moment that almost no one would ever believe. I walked away light, ready to take on the world. Dynamics of positive and negative seem to exist in extremes. I told you, I'm the real champion. I told you, I'm the champion of the world. All of you bow. Throughout ancient times, institutions of learning have been built on top of hills to convey that great struggle is required to achieve degrees of enlightenment. Each of you had your own unique difficulties with the hill. You know, sometimes your grades don't give a, 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 a real indication of what your greatness might be. You would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Or some of you went through something traumatic. You made it to the top of the hill, but, but not without scars and bruises. When completing a long climb, one first experiences dizziness, disor disor disorientation, and shortness of breath due to the high altitude. But once you become accustomed to the climb, your mind opens up to the tranquility of the triumph. Oftentimes, the mind is flooded with realizations that were for some reason harder to come to when you were at a lower elevation. At this moment, most of you need some realizations because right now you have some big decisions to make. I don't know what your future is, but if you are willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory. As is often the case, those that follow most often enjoy the results of the progress you gain. Sometimes you need to get knocked down before you can really figure out what your, what your fight is. Everything that you fought for was not for yourself. It was for those that come after. Finally, I thought of Ali in the middle of the yard. It is elder years drawing from his victories and his losses. At that moment, I realized something new about this, the greatness of Ali and how he carried his crown. I realized that he was transferring something to me on that day. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter in me. He was, he was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. 
he was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me.